All right, so today I'm gonna to make a simple M16. I got some zombies. There we go, just wiped them out. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna use this M16 right here that I did in my last video that has a simple carry animation. That'll get us up and running a lot quicker. I'll put this link in the description, go ahead and click on it, get to this page. This button will be green, it'll say get, press that, and then you'll have that in your toolbox. I also put the gunshot because sometimes those are hard to find. So I put that link in the description. You go ahead and hit that green get button. Now you'll have the M16 that I'm using and the gunshot. It'll go a lot smoother. All right, and now I have a fresh world right here. Go ahead and get a fresh world. Oh, don't update right now. There we go. Go to the toolbox. Go to your inventory. Here's an M16 step one. That's what, oops. One script, yep, I know I wrote it. There we go, we got that. And then we'll get our gunshot, we drag that into the world. Get rid of the toolbox, take your gunshot, move it down to the M16, I'm gonna put it on gun part. Put it on a nice part right there where it'll have roll off in the world, right? You have to put a sound on a part or an attachment in order to get roll off for sound. We're gonna play it server side. So what else do we need? Uh, we got, our shoot 16, which is the client script. We are going to talk to the server for damage. So hit that plus sign because we're going to need a remote event to talk to the server scripts. All right. So that remote event, I'm going to call shoot RE. That is the doorway between the client and the server. All right. What else? Let's go and get a configuration folder. Hit the plus sign on the M16 again. Hit like C-O-N for configuration. And then we'll put our values in here that we want to change like, or, or change with code like damage or uh, max ammo, things like that. Hit that plus sign. I'm gonna add an int value cause I'm gonna do max damage and min damage. So we'll have some variability on how, how hurt the person gets when we shoot them. I'll do a max damage. We'll do value equals 20. And then do a control D to duplicate it. Min damage. Make that 10. So having these defined in your code is good, like up at the top, but then you can't change it with a script. And then other people have to fumble around in the code to look to see where the damage is. Uh, we're also going to do our ammo, reserve ammo, capacity, things like that in here too. That way we can change it when we buy ammo. Uh, we can just update that value from another script. Cool. Let's see. Let's take a look at our shoot 16, the client script. All right, we're going to come in here. We've got a bunch of variables already defined. I'm going to change this connection name. I'm going to change this to uh, start shoot C O N N that is for my activate, but I'm also going to have a deactivate, right? Because we're going to press the button, hold it down and we're going to shoot many times. So I need two connections. That's why I'm bothering changing that first one. This is going to be the stop shoot connection, All right? So I have a start and a stop. We're going to need two more variables too. We'll do one called is shooting and that's going to be a boolean so we'll start out with that being false it can be true or false and then we're going to do another variable for the shoot re shoot re the remote event to talk to the server we'll say script dot parent wait for child shoot re cool we should be good do animations is fine we're not going to do anything with that that's just the carry animation i have in there we have our on activated, but before we go that, let's look for the on equip and on unequip, which is called by the equipped and unequipped event on the gun or events on the gun. So we have that connection. We changed that connection, right? Remember we called it start shoot C O O or C O N N. And then we'll do another one for the stop stop shoot con. This is going to be deactivated. 
and then we'll connect that to on oh we don't have a deactivated event that's fine let's just write it in here now deactivated and then we'll make a deactivated function that's what i meant to say we don't have a deactivated function on deactivated on deactivated cool make sure the spelling is right right no red lines cool now when we stop when we unequip the start shoot con is going to be disconnected save some resources and then we'll do a stop shoot con disconnect too nice all right now we can get shooting we have our on activated on deactivated i'm going to have a helper function i'm going to do local function it's going to be called shoot that's going to be the loop that's going to do auto fire so i'll say while is shooting oops not then do we are going to do a shoot re fire server send in the mouse target now i did the auto loop on the server side it's more efficient but then you can't do the prey and spray where you get different targets when you're moving your mouse around i thought that was pretty important for a machine gun and then i'll do a wait 0.1 second in between you can't fire this too many times about 20 times a second is the high end this is 10 times a second it should be fine all right so we got that we don't have anything on the server side catching that but don't worry we're going to do that let's get our is shooting and set it to true when our on activated is is triggered all right we'll set it to true and then we'll call shoot all right and then what do you think we're going to do on deactivated well all we have to do is do is shooting false and then this loop will stop firing when this turns false that's kind of cool i think we're good to go in the client side let's go over to our m16 plus hit s for script and let's start working on our server script which i'm going to call damage it's going to do other things but it's predominantly for damage All right so we get in our damage script we're going to need that shoot re say local shoot re script dot parent wait for child there it is shoot re and what else we're going to do let's get our configuration folder so i'll call that config i'll say script dot parent wait for child configuration although we probably don't have to wait it'll probably be there but better safe let's get our max damage variable max damage we'll do that with the can we'll get the config there it is we can do a wait for child max damage we're gonna do the same thing for min damage min damage config wait for child min damage what else we need oh we need our bang right bang script dot parent uh gun part dot gun part and i think we called it gunshot cool and let's get a random number generator too so for our variability between max damage and min damage let's go rnd for rand say random dot new and then you could put like a tick value in here to make this a better pseudo random number generator this is a seed value it starts the sequence based on a seed value and the tick keeps going from minutes after january 1st of 1970 or seconds after january 1st of 1970 it actually goes down to millisecond but in roblox this is reported in seconds but you can get three decimal places so if you really need the millisecond right all right now let's do our local function on shoot oh and we're going to get our player and then we're going to get the target right and then here we'll do our bang and play it we'll do if target and let's check the target dot parent to make sure that's okay too because it's an m16 there's going to be a lot of things dying out there and the parents 
might get removed from the world before the target is. So let's just do a check. And then we'll look for the humanoid in the target. So we'll say target dot parent, which should be a character. We'll say find first child that's a humanoid. Make sure you spell humanoid right, because you won't get an error if you don't. If hum then, let's do a variable for a D for damage. We'll say random next integer. We'll get an integer from our min damage. Now remember, it's an int value, so you have to do value. And then we'll go to the max damage dot value. And that'll give us a number somewhere between 10 and 20. This is in the configuration folder. Cool. We got that. Now that we got our D for damage, we'll say Hume, take damage, D. And we'll print it out too, because I don't have a I don't have a damage GUI. Oh my gosh, there we go. D equals D. Now we'll just get our shoot RE down here. I'll move this up so you can see. Shoot RE dot on server event colon connect on shoot. Oh, and get rid of those two extra parentheses. You only want the function name, right? And this is being called from our client script and we're calling on shoot by connecting it to on shoot. Let's try it out. Let's get a zombie in the world though. Oh, and let's also put our M16 in starter pack so we don't have to fumble around with it. Let's see, starter pack, there we go. Get a zombie toolbox. And we'll say drooling. I gotta make some videos on making monsters. There we go. Cool. Yep, two scripts, but it's a Roblox asset, so we, we should be good. Maybe we'll make another one. Control D, get two. All right, we'll hit play. Let's kill some zombies. There's my M16. There they come. Yeah, pretty good. All right, so next video, we'll add that, maybe do a flash, maybe do some more configuration. And I will see you then.